It's day one of the thriller a thon, and boyfriend's woken me up with coffee and put me out on my beautiful balcony so I can start reading The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, which is challenge one of the readathon challenge. There's five challenges, and challenge one is to read the thriller that you've been most anticipating. So while I'm cozying up on my balcony while it's still not so hot here in Australia, He's inside making breakfast, so it's not a bad start to the day. Oh, that was a really big bird that just landed on my roof. Would you please repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> There's certain yeah. things in life you just wish you had a camera for. Yeah, well, no time. <laughs> no time to do anything. I have little, only averaged. Little Mrs. Average about six and a half hours of reading in the last <laughs> couple of days. In the last couple of days, I've averaged six and a half minutes today, and it's the start of the thriller a thon. Bullshit! <laughs> I'm supposed to be prioritizing reading, but instead we got our first Airbnb guest booked in. So that took priority. We're setting up for our first Airbnb guest tonight. Plus I'm working two until ten o'clock this evening. So seven and a half hour shift. I'm gonna have no time to read. That's and now he's about to put me through though. now he's about to put me through seven minute workouts, which is Torture. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't get that. I did. <laughs> you called me a bloody twit. Why do you want me to press record? <laughs> you're going to record some of the stupid things you say. I'm not saying anything stupid, I just don't like drinking out of public fountains. It freaks me out. You can't say pussy on my freaking YouTube channel. <laughs> Bum squeeze. Jeez, Mark, calm down. This is PG. Think you're in the what? <laughs> Oh, it's got my beautiful mug on it. <laughs> How do I do it? Change. Stop taking photos. Change. No, no. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. I can't believe you're drinking from that. Great. Oh, keep going. Come on! I'm doing the plank! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Does it look good? Yeah. <laughs> <Ugh>. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> 
this way. Shut up! God. <laughs> Actually gonna watch this shit. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the bus stop to get to work for two o'clock and I'm going to be reading the one in the window. I'm on chapter three now, so I'm gonna be reading that on the bus, which takes like 20 minutes, give or take, to get to work and then I've got like seven and a half hours ahead of me. Um, First Airbnb guest ever arrived and he seems alright, he was absolutely knackered so he literally just like said hello and went straight to bed but yeah good to know, get a little bit of extra cash coming in I gotta go to work now, Oi. It's day 3 of the Thrillerathon and I am chilling out, reading my book at this beautiful like barrel table um, at a place called Communal, bar and eating restaurant whatever um, I didn't film yesterday because I had a really bad day. Um, I had a bad day today too. It's also taking taken off my glasses. I um, had a meltdown. Um, yeah, just got some personal stuff going on. But uh, hopefully it'll all be okay. And um, yeah, so I am about to go to work in like 10 minutes. So I just needed to have a glass of wine and read a little bit before I do that. I've got a couple of hours ahead of me and looking after drunk people. Yay! Happy day four of the Thrillerathon. Sorry if I have chocolate in my teeth. I've been munching two minute noodles and Jaffa cakes in bed. I actually had a really good day. I went to the Chermside Shopping Centre to Starbucks. And I got this absolutely amazing frappuccino that was like a popcorn caramel pretzel thing. It was delicious. And I met this other bookstagrammer there called Jess. And it's really nice to, you know, make some friends of my own because I've got my boyfriend and his friends and the, the their girlfriends are absolutely lovely and so warm and welcoming to me. But it is nice to, you know, kind of establish my own life away from my boyfriend too. So I was able to make a run today and that was really cool. We spoke for a long time about books and life and we went book shopping together. I bought a copy of it. Oh, hold on a sec. I See You by Claire McIntosh. This is her second book. I read the debut, which I absolutely loved, called I Let You Go. And I recently finished her latest one, which gets released next month. And that was called Let Me Lie. So I've heard that this one, her second one, is the best. From what I gather, this is about a girl called Zoe who finds a picture in the classifieds ad in a London newspaper. Day after day, this classifieds ad page has photos of different women and, you know, just different pictures and she doesn't understand why. She starts to think that maybe someone is tracking her and kind of trying to make sure they know her whereabouts all the time and she wants to understand why. I'm really, really excited for it. It was $18. No, it was $20. Wait. <laughs> but you know what? I just worked flat out five days. I earned a fair bit of money, which unfortunately will have to go towards paying off all my new furniture and life in Brisbane. But I did have to just, you know, have one little bit of a spoil just for me because I haven't really been able to spoil myself at all recently. But anyway, that being said, I am still busy reading The Woman in the Window because I've hardly had any reading time and my door just opened. But I'm still reading this. I am now currently on chapter 30, which is page 133. It is really good. I'm really enjoying the writing a lot. Let me just close my door. Um, really, really enjoying the writing and it's the, the chapters are really quick and short so it makes it for a really fast read it's super intriguing but it's also very slow burning like not much has actually really happened we know that our main character anna i believe is um she is an agoraphobic 
which is basically she's scared to go outside and to do anything in the outside world. So she's suffering from this mental illness and she basically spends her days watching people, her neighbours and postman and just the people that live around her that she can see from her window and she takes a heap of drugs to, you know, uh, help her with her mental state and she unfortunately has a bit of a drinking problem and you're not supposed to take drugs with alcohol so she's a very unreliable main character and so far nothing's really happened I mean there's these new neighbours that moved in next door and they are quite strange there's something definitely wrong with the husband of the husband the wife and the teenage boy there's something wrong with the husband he seems very controlling and just a bit odd but that's about it she hears a scream coming from next door but then it's all denied so yeah i mean that's it in 133 pages that's pretty much what happened but i think i've started to realize i quite like slow burning books like take for instance claire mcintosh's i let you go i loved it also not much really happened but then it just like wow with you as it just goes boom and explodes with this twist and this plot and it's just amazing and i like that in a book it just builds up that suspense because you know something must be coming i guess like if it's a book and nothing happens at all then it's just such a letdown but i love it when it's slow burning and then something big really does happen and i have a feeling that's going to happen in this i mean it's getting really good reviews and i am very excited to stop talking to you guys right now and read a bit while i have some time alone it doesn't happen very often so yes let me just have my water no wine it's too early for wine but believe me this evening the bachelor is on at 9 p.m and i'm going to be watching it with a glass of wine yay there's Mark in his underwear. Ooh la la. Creep. <laughs> it's a stormy day. It's raining. It's a thriller on day five. And Mark's just made me a delicious coffee. He even did that on top. And I'm in bed. I can't show you me because I'm naked. Um, and I'm busy reading. So, yeah. Um, it's day five and I still haven't read one full book, which is horrific because you're supposed to read like five books in a week and Yeah, it's not it's not gonna happen really realistically, but I'm gonna just sit in bed listening to this beautiful music and Have a beautiful coffee read a really good book and relax Hey guys, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. It is the thriller of on day five. I am now partially clothed, so I'm able to talk to you. I'm just chilling out for a couple of hours reading The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. I'm on chapter 37, which is page 164. It's going really well. She, the main character, Anna, has kind of had a complete freak out because she mixed way too many drugs and booze together and she thinks she saw something, I don't want to give too much away if, if you haven't read this book before, but she thinks she's seen something in the neighbour's house, but now she's woken up in hospital and she's not really sure what's going on because she basically just had a massive panic attack, so she's been like, sedated and is now on her way back home because she's an ag agoraphobic, um, like I mentioned before, so they had to sedate her so that she could get her back home. And it's it's cool. It's you know it's still slow paced, but something is finally actually happening. So uh, yeah, I've got some friends coming over for a barbecue a little bit later. We're gonna do some steaks on the barbecue and some sweet potato mash, rocket, and balsamic reduction with like a little salad. So it's gonna be a good day. My day off is going well. Someone's at the door. Who is he? Let's go have a look. <laughs> Hello? Who's this? What? Is it Mark? Ah, oh, sorry, you sound different. <laughs> it's the boyfriend! 
Okay, yep, I need to go now because I still struggle to film when he's around, take film seriously, otherwise we just goof around on camera. Um, and I'm really hot in this jumper now, so it's supposed to be a stormy day, but it's actually really nice and beautiful. And I say really, really differently now. Like, my whole accent's changing since I've been here in Australia and it's starting to freak me out. Also, what do you think of my nails? I had a girly day, I did my nails, my makeup, I feel very pretty. Ah.